Now we adjust the hair on the head. Let's layer the hair first. We still set the initial weight of the hair to 0.5. Weight controls not only the distribution of hair, but also the density. Usually the density can be a bit lower in the long hair areas, but for the short hair areas, a higher density can cover the skin well. In this case, we can use a lightened brush and a darkened brush. Lightened brush is to raise the weight up to the set weight value, but won't exceed the value. Darken brush is to reduce the weight down to this value, but won't be lower than the value. When the overall density is almost even, we can adjust it further directly with the parameter. Here, I'd like to explain why I set the initial weight to 0.5. The initial weight of 0.5 can be raised and lowered. Indeed, it is pretty manageable. If we directly paint it to 1, then the weight cannot be raised anymore when some areas need a higher density. Thus, it may cause a lot of rework. That's why we set the initial weight as 0.5. Now, let's see the overall effect. As for the bridge of the nose, the nose tip, the edge of the nose, the mouth, and the eyes, we will handle them later specifically. Paint here a little more. Clear the areas of the eyes that should have no hair. The hair on the face is a little flat. Let's make it a bit fluffy. Do not make the hair too thick. It's better to keep a little bit space in the hair. Currently, the hair here is too thick. Let's reduce the thickness of it to get a proper space among the hair. Thus, we can add some airiness to the hair. There's something wrong with the guys here. Let's fix it. The hair is a bit long here. To achieve a good work, we have to be more patient. Once we find a problem, we just fix it. That is a problem-solving process, which is essential. Let's move on to the ears.